I'm Deb Curry, and Jesus is my rock. I was raised in a home where there was no doubt that my parents loved me very much, but it wasn't a Christian home. And so basically, through my childhood, I hardly ever went to church. And so I was really confused about God, but somehow I knew that there was a God and wanted to know more, but just found it very, very confusing. And it wasn't until a crusade came to our town um, the gospel was simply presented, and that night I went forward and um, talked with the counselor and, and surrendered my life to Jesus. When I was in my 20s, um, we got a phone call that my dad had been killed. One day he was on his way back home to Southern Illinois from, from the Niles, Michigan, or South Bend area, and I called my mom and told her that he was going to be home late, and he never came. And the next morning about dawn, they found him alongside the road with his head bashed in. And his truck was about a mile away and out of gas. My first thought was, I don't know where he is. When he died, I asked why, because I had prayed for him so much. You know, there's a scripture that says that if you ask, you'll receive. And so I kind of had to balance that in my own thought process. Each one of us has a choice. You know, God doesn't force us. It was hard. I mean, it's hard to think about it even now, 30 years later, <laughs> and to not know where he is spending eternity. About seven years ago, my mom committed suicide. I can't imagine that life can be so bad that it would cause a person to take their life. But I also know that from my perspective, I have faith knowing that God's sovereign and that whatever comes into life is going to be used for good eventually. I was married for 22 years um, and my husband decided that he didn't want to try anymore and that he would rather just start over in life. I was really devastated and in fact it's how I came to this church was through the divorce recovery program. I just kept coming back for the encouragement and the support and you know, meeting people who were going through similar things. In Genesis 50, it talks about with Joseph that what his brothers meant for evil, God used for good. And, and so even when hard times come, I know that God's in control and that he's going to provide. And it's so much easier, I think, to go through those hard times with faith because He is our refuge and our strength through those times. And we actually grow through those times. I mean, I know through the hard times in my life, I've grown closer to God because I had to depend on Him more. Sometimes I'm a bit stubborn and try to do things my own way when things are going well, especially. But when things are pulled out from under you, God's what we have. Well, about five or five and a half years after the divorce, got online and did a trial membership in one of those Christian single dating sites. The only one that I ended up corresponding with was Dave. Dave was the first person I knew, um, that I know of anyway, that was HIV positive. And so that was pretty scary. Um, you know, in a sense that I'd never met anyone, I wasn't familiar with it. And so we had a lot to talk about, but the majority of the night was spent talking about how God had provided for us and what a wonderful savior we had. And I remember driving home that night feeling so uplifted and that it was like I'd been in a testimony service all night. We were married about seven months after that, I guess. Yeah, I have a bucket list and it has one thing on it and that one thing is that my kids and my grandkids will know when I die that they don't have to wonder where I am. They know I'm alive, I'm with Jesus, and I'm far better off. They won't have that same wonder that I have about my parents. I want them to see Jesus in me daily so that they don't have those doubts and that it will be an example to them of what they need to do in their life as well.